Hello everyone, my name is Mikołaj Bartłomiejczyk and today I'm going give presentation which I've prepared me with my friends Leżek Jarzębowicz and to the, to the, together we represent Gdańsk University of Technology in Gdańsk in Poland and uh, the title of this presentation will be Utility Analysis and Rating of Energy Storage in Trolleybus Power Supply System. Today, storage energy system like battery or super cups mainly are used in electric vehicles as an autonomous energy so source of electric car energy for electric vehicles, for electric cars, electric buses and trolley buses with autonomous running and it is the main application of storage energy system in transportation. Also sometimes super, super cups are applied for accumulation of braking energy air recovery in vehicles but in the next year we can expect the another application of electric storage energy system mainly it will be caused by the fact that in the few years we can expect that will appear the market of used reused second hand electric battery from electric vehicles air and electric buses and in it, it will allow to search another application mainly stationary application for traction reused second-hand traction batteries from electric vehicles and today I we are going to present the two possible application for this the first application will be reduction of peak power demand of traction substation by using of storage energy devices. In case of electric traction, especially in case of uh, trolley buses and trams, we can observe very big load variation of traction supply system. It is caused by many fact factors in the long scale in daily or weekly scale it is caused by by variability of demand for transportation need for transportation passenger needs and in a short term time scale it is caused by the congestion of the traffic of the traffic on of the road traffic and the influence of the movement of the other vehicles and there is prepared the comparison of some parameters of the maximal load of the traction substation in the long term scale there is average maximal average value of the load of the traction substation in one hour scale and three hour period and in the short time scale in one second scale in five second scale one minute in 15 minutes and i made comparison for five traction substation which supply of gdynia trolleybus sub mm, supply system ts1 it is the biggest substation we can say ts ts1 is the smaller substation TS5 it is the bigger substation with the biggest load and we see that in case of short time load variation the maximal average value can a uh, lot many times exceed the average value of the load in the long term scale to present better this this fact there is com the same comparison of the same substation by I make comparison in a rescaled no, nominal scale to the one hours average traction 
value of the traction substation and we see especially in the smallest substation in case of traction substation TS1, TS2 this substation supply only one supply section we see that the momental value in one second scale or five second scale is around 20 times bigger than the load power value in case of one hour scales and why it is important from the practical point of view it has two effects the first problem which it causes it is fact that we need to oversize a lot of parts of traction substation because even if we consume average around in one hour or three hour scale 50 kilowatts in one second on or five second scale the load value is 20 times 10 or 20 times bigger so it is 500 kilowatts and a lot of elements of traction substation like for example AC switchboard needs to be dimensioned for this bigger value of the load also what is more important the supply cable supply infrastructure from public grid also needs to be dimensioned for bigger load value and it increases the cost of the building of the new substation but also it can increase the operational cost value because during payment for electric energy the most of the energy consumer pay for consumed air energy but also for the contracted 15 minutes power which depends on the one second power so this irregularity especially which is well seen in the case of small substation increases the installation cost of the new traction substation and operational cost of the traction substation and that's why we can consider installation of storage energy system in traction substation which it can be mainly profitable in the case of small traction substation and there's we can see comparison of the standard traction substation which is equipment with rectify transporter and transformer and rectify and proposed change structure of the structure of the traction substation which storage energy system it can be battery or super condensator super capacitor with charging with the constant value from the supply AC public system the detailed results are presented in our paper but generally I want to say this picture is described very well in paper but generally I can underline that thanks to the use application of the storage energy system we can reduce the momental value of the load of the traction substation and the bigger the bigger storage capacity of the storage energy system allow to reduce the maximum load from the energy supply system and especially it can be considerable in case of when in case of building of the new substation because in many situations it can be more profitable to to use storage energy system in traction substation and now I will go to the second part of our presentation in this part I'm going to present the another proposed application of storage energy system I want to present the application on storage energy system in traction supply system with using of photovoltaic system the photovoltaic system are considered in many cities to be used for supply 
energy system of city urban transportation was more several such application now work in a few cities for example in Marrakesh in Morocco or in Bad Schandau in Germany also the other cities are considering to build electric power photovoltaic plants for supply of traction so tram or trolley buses supply system and it is a very profitable solution because in city urban area we have available a lot of buildings with quite big roofs so these roofs can be covered by photovoltaic system which can be connected to traction supply system but uh, from other hand it will generate problem with with adjusting of irregular character of photovolt of power generation in photovoltaic system with the irregular character of traction load of the of energy load of the traction supply system of course we can try to directly connect this photovoltaic system to the of course through the dc dc converter to the traction substation or to the traction network but in many cases we won't be able to consume all and generated energy in this photovoltaic system due to variability of the traction load and variability of the generation of energy in photovoltaic system and that's why also we investigated implementation as it is presented storage energy system in traction supply system with one traction substation with photovoltaic energy power plant here is DC DC converter of this photovoltaic panels with storage energy system and the results of our calculations and analysis were detailedly presented in our paper but generally we can conclude that that bigger bigger storage energy st energy storage capacity of storage energy system will allow better using consuming of the generate power generation from the from the photovoltaic system of course there exists the question of the cost benefits analysis because from the other hand if we install the bigger storage energy system the using efficiency of the photovoltaic system will be better one but the, from the other hand other hands the investition costs will be initial costs will be bigger so that's why it is question for the further mainly cost benefit analysis but generally especially if we will have available not expensive reused traction battery from electric vehicles it is considerate to um, to find to find such solution and what i'm going to underline even application of small batteries or super cups in such application like photovoltaic system which will supply traction system also can bring energy like uh, bring benefits like it is presented here in this graph now time for the conclusion we presented two possible innovative applications of storage energy system in power su supply system of electric urban, urban transport in case of using the brand new traction electrochemical batteries perhaps it uh, will it will be too expensive to 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 make such systems but and the payment back time would be around 10 or 20 years so from the economic point of view it would be pointless but from the other hand as i said in the next few years we can expect the market of the reuse cheap relatively cheap batteries and this 
relatively cheap batteries can be applied in such system. And now times for extra question. The first question is can you please contrast the pot contrast the potential of electric autonomous city buses buses with the current trolley bus network? It seems promising, especially looking at China currently China currently. Will the trolley bus solution development be endangered in this regard? I will answer that even in China when we see a lot of electric buses, a lot of cities still develop the trolley buses with traction battery which can we call in motion charging or dynamic charging. Standard electric buses, stationary charge electric buses are being popular but unfortunately stationary charge electric buses have one big disadvantage it means that you need to stop vehicle during charging so that's why you are losing time and time is money so this charging also costs money in case of trolley buses with storage energy system with autonomous driving we can use trolley bus infrastructure to charge the traction batteries without stopping so we do not you do not need to lose time for charging and question number two could you take into account elevation of terrain in conception calculation in case trolley bus is utilized in less flat geographical areas of course it can be taken into the account in case of every situation we need to make another analysis and it is of course possible if there will be such requirement or in if in such place somebody will are going to build traction substation it is possible to take account in the further analysis Thank you very much.